Hi, I'm Russell Easton from Lounge on 20 in the heart of Midtown Sacramento, and today we're going to be talking about the traditional serving of absinthe. Absinthe is actually one of the oldest cocktails out there, and when I say cocktail, being that you mix water with it, um, predates uh, Europe's prohibition and the U.S.'s prohibition also. It was, it's served as an aperitif traditionally and was largely made popular by France, although it originated in Switzerland. Today we're going to do a traditional serving of absinthe. To do that, that involves a louche, which has uh, chilled water in it, ice cubes water, and you're going to drip that over a sugar cube, an absinthe spoon, and of course the absinthe. The reason you use a sugar cube is traditionally absinthe is bitter, has a bitter finish on it, and so the sugar helps sweeten that up and make it more palatable for most people. You do about four parts water to one part liquor because absinthe is, is a strong, bold liquor. Ranges anywhere from 100 proof, and the states it can go anywhere up to 155 proof. So you're talking about a very like staunchy, bold flavor, sticks to your palate liquor. So what's happening now is the absinthe actually turns cloudy. Most people think this is because of the sugar cube. It is actually the water that sparks this. The green anise has oils in it that bond with the liquor, but when water is added, it actually separates from the liquor and becomes cloudy because it's tiny particles of oil from a, a, an original green in it. So uh, it's what's going to happen with all anise if it's true anise. Okay, so now we're going to make you one of our fantastic cocktails that we have here at Lounge on 20. Starts with an egg white, which I've already put in the tin. It's an ounce and a half of absinthe. We do three order, quarters ounce of an orange gastric, which is a reduction of champagne vinegar, brown and white sugar, and orange juice. You reduce them all down into almost a syrup-like texture half an ounce of lemon juice, and a quarter ounce of, of honey. This all mixes in and you, you, shake, you dry shake it, what is called a dry shake without ice first. What it does is emulsify the egg with all the other ingredients, otherwise the egg will not combine with it, it will stay separate. Next you add ice, and you give this a vigorous shake. When you have egg in anything, you want to shake it vigorously because what you're doing is you're getting texture out of it. And by shaking vigorously, that's how you get that big frothy texture. Egg does nothing other than texture in a drink. After this, you strain it off into a glass over fresh ice. We wrap it with the straw with an orange zest, which adds a bitter component, then also gives you that nice orangey flavor next to your nose when you're drinking it. Absence fizz.